Jake's Joker! Alright. <sighs> this is what a what a blessed time we're here. Here at Xeno. Versing Sinji. This is, it's 25 seconds in and not a hit has been had. Why are you so excited about Jake's Joker? Because Pac-Man just got stabbed in the face! <laughs> For 11%. Yeah, I know, and he barely hit that back here. <laughs> Alright, so I love this matchup for Joker. I think there's a lot that Joker can do as far as conditioning the, um, the pace of the match. Like, conditioning Pac-Man to use certain tools or not use certain tools. And Sinji, well, really well versed in Pac-Man and always having like a specific way that he wants to control the base of a match. He knows that if someone's not going to let him play his game, he has to play through with it. And he can do that. He can keep the pace of the match. But Joker's going to be able to like change the way that Pac-Man zones super well. I mean, you can see he's just a wily little kid, just jumping all over the place. And Sinji kind of wants to intercept things. Like Even though he does set up his game plan, he also realizes that he needs to keep his opponent out. Uh, and Frozen is kind of just in his face in the wrong places, or the bad places for him. Oh, hi, Arsene. Now we're in a bad place. Yep. Like, Pac so Pac-Man has to deal with Joker even before, like, Arsene becomes an issue because Joker's able to constantly break zone. And we've already seen him multiple times in this game. But, like, there's plenty of times where Frozen is able to tank something with the Rumble's Guard. <laughs> that was the most brilliant thing I've ever seen. So you just put it there and then just hung on ledge. Because he's like, oh, you can't touch me. There's a trampoline in the way. What happened? Who he tried I? to use uh, Tetracarn, and it didn't really work. Like, Pac-Man just didn't care for it. Is he dead? Yeah, he Whoa. fell into the down air, and he shouldn't have done that. Right? Plus, it was too low of an interaction where if he tried to use Rebel's Guard, he would have just fell down into the depths of the you know, Okay, that's a lot of damage. Okay, I like that. Sinji, he's like, all right, so now you're uh, busting out the Arsen, so I'm just going to trampoline and go to ledge. Yeah, you got to figure over, out your over, way over to again. stall. If you're a character that plays slow and you see Arsene, take advantage of the fact that you can play the game slow. As much as we meme on Sinji, oh my god, he actually Sheesh. just shot him with the key. As much as we meme on Sinji, he's like a fairly aggressive Pac-Man, I would say, out of the top Pac-Man. But he knows how to camp with Pac- like he's aware that Pac-Man can, can play a much slower game if he wants to. Why? Oh. Why would you air that? He's alive, but like... Because he's alive. Listen, Should if he bad. doesn't die, then it was optimal. I feel like we have different interpretations of optimization. <laughs> I think that not dying is the most optimal thing you can do. On a scale of dead to not dead, I would have to agree with you, <laughs> Sully. And in a way, isn't that the only skill that matters in this cruel fucking world? <laughs> you know, maybe. We got really real here. Sometimes we gotta appreciate that. Uh. Okay, so anyway, 163% on Frozen. One thing is that his Joker was doing really well, uh, and then he had to get the kill. And when you're playing a secondary, getting the kill is so hard. Because you're just not familiar with the character in the same way, especially in neutral. And that means that... I mean, okay, Sinji's struggling to get the kill even though he only plays Pac-Man. But nonetheless, it's really going to be a test as to whether he's able to... This, this counter pick is going to work, is whether he's able to actually finish off stocks. Because he definitely can play the neutral. He can play pretty much at Sinji's pace pretty well. But then when they both get to kill percents, it's just... I mean, he's dead, okay. That oh, wasn't kill percents, that was that actually was just a tragedy in the making. <laughs> it was made pretty quickly. That was like, an instant made tragedy. You just like add water and put it in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, hello. Proper introduction of Hangman and Salty Fun here for you know, what do we add? There's uh, 28? 28, yes. 28 now? Yeah, we're getting really far into there now. Yeah, that's